Black fungus cases are on the rise in India, primarily as post-COVID symptoms. This infection can cause blindness or even death if it reaches the brain. Who is most likely to get infected? What are the symptoms? Can it be cured? Let's try to answer some of these questions in this video. And if you have not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. The black fungus, medically referred to as mucomycosis, is an aggressive and hard to treat fungal infection. It is caused by a group of molds called mucomycetes. These fungi are found in the environment, primarily in the soil or decaying organic matter. When someone breathes these fungal spores, they are most likely to get an infection of either the sinuses or the lungs. Experts call this mucomycosis as the fungal infection which is very very opportunistic in nature. It primarily latches on to those people who have recovered from a serious illness or in those people where the body's ability to fight off infections is at a very low. So the disease starts to spread primarily from the sinuses, from the back of the nose. Uh, people will start seeing all of a sudden the decoloration of the nose. One of the ways in which mucomycosis travels is through the blood vessels. So it invades the, the blood system and it reaches the particular tissue and it stops the blood supply to that particular tissue which leads to the decoloration of that tissue and, and after some time the tissue dies, becomes black in color and hence the name black fungus. In the most severe cases, the mucomycosis reaches the brain through the veins potentially causing loss of eyesight. If not controlled or not treated, it has a very high mortality rate of about 50%. So what are the symptoms? Blackish coloration around the bridge of the nose, persistent headaches, vision impairment, swelling, pain or redness of the eyes along the cheek, altered mental state or confusion, black and bloody nasal discharge, pain in one side of the face and sinuses, painful and blurred vision. Moderate to severe COVID-19 in patients is causing the infections to take hold. People's immune system is being compromised by the virus. A lot of high dose steroids are given to COVID-19 patients to treat them. Steroids decrease your inflammation, but that also means that the body's natural capacity to fight off infections like fungi is also brought down. That's why we should not give steroids to people for longer duration of time and we should completely avoid it in cases where it's not needed. There is rampant misuse and overuse of antibiotics in India also, which also leads to such cases. So why is it appearing now in India? Earlier also there were cases of mucomycosis. It's not that now only we are seeing it, but they were under very, very rare circumstances. So for example, if there's a road accident and the patient has got a lot of cuts and wounds, or if a person has severe diabetes, then those cases were more susceptible to get mucomycosis. But as of now, all cases are COVID-19 related. Poor air quality, humidity and dust also creates environment for the fungi to thrive. Treating mucomycosis is expensive and difficult. Surgical removal of the infected tissue is the primary treatment for the infection. In addition, a long course of antifungal medication is very crucial for this treatment. Mucomycosis is like a fast spreading cancer that invades the body and if not treated at the right time and in the right manner it can lead to death. Because the surgeries involved are also at very delicate places it's very expensive to do these surgeries as well. Now how can we prevent this? Typically again hygiene plays a major role in ensuring that you can prevent mucomycosis. Wear gloves while handling soil, moss or manure. This infection is very crucial in those people whose immunity is very low. So not everybody has to be afraid of black fungus. People should maintain good personal hygiene and ensure that if you have diabetes, it should always be well controlled. And ensure you stop the use of steroids as soon as the medical professionals tell you to do so. Don't overuse the, med the steroids and antibiotics. We hope you found this video useful. Please do comment, share this video and do subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Till next time, thank you very much.
Don't forget to subscribe to TGF and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications.